How close are you to the Mandela family and particularly to Nelson Mandela? We became very close friends at the university and in the 50s. And when he was a young lawyer and I was a young advocate, we did many cases together. Nelson Mandela appealed to people to help solve the problems of the people of South Africa as a whole. I, as his friend, was often asked by people, what can we do to please Mr. Mandela because of his status? And as a result of our friendship and I knew his feelings, I would say, you want to please Mr. Mandela, and you've got money. He's established a foundation. He's established a children's fund. If you have enough money, build a school and he will come to the opening ceremony of the school. If you have money, build a clinic. Both will please him. If you can do both, do both. It will please him even more. There were people not only Mandela, Walter Sisulu was of the same ilk. An example, Gaddafi came to South Africa. He said he wanted to see the number two, Walter Sisulu, living in a small house in Soweto. They said, yes, yeah, sure, Mr. President Gaddafi will take you to Mr. Susulu's house. A small house in Soweto, overcrowded. And Gaddafi said, you want to see Mr. Susulu? We'll take you to his house. Gaddafi saw it and said, Mr. Susulu, your house is very small. I will build you a house. You know what was Walter Susulu's answer was? Thank you very much. We are very happy in the house we are living in. If you want to spend money, build a hospital or a clinic. So that this ethos, we are not here for our benefit, was ingrained in Nelson Mandela and those around him. There are many people here in South Africa that say that they want to honor the legacy of Nelson Mandela. They have opportunities to read in his book and my book and uh, uh, Samson's book what the legacy of N Nelson Mandela is. They don't live up to it, unfortunately. It is our duty to remind them of what it was in the hope that those that uh, did not have regard to it may change their mind and those that want to rethink of it will do the right thing. How does he rank in the world at the Churchillians and, and so on and so on? of great politicians, leaders of the world, founders, changers, Mahatma Gandhi, uh, and so on. How would you rate Nelson Mandela there? If you had to limit it to five great rulers in the world's history, I think that he would be one of them. He chose not to take a second term. Why, George? He wanted to set an example to South Africans and more particularly to the leaders who were the first leaders of, after the end of colonialism in Africa, who, with a couple of exceptions, thought 
that are their right to rule for an indefinite period on their own or to be succeeded by members of uh, their families was not uh, the best democratic option that was available to the people of Africa. That was one of the main reasons. Another reason was that the settlement entered into by Nelson Mandela and F.W. de Klerk was almost an unprecedented occurrence in settling disputes between peoples of different origin, religious belief, skin color. And although there was a feeling expressed often that when Mandela goes to South Africa, go back to their old ways. He wanted to prove them wrong. What will your fondest, most abiding memory of the great South African Nelson Mandela be eventually? What will your fondest, deepest memory be? That he was prepared to make sacrifices of his profession as a lawyer, of his liberty, faced three or four trials where he could go to prison and eventually did go to prison for a very long period. But all this, giving up his family with one objective, I'm doing that not only for myself but for the people of South Africa as a whole. There were two fellow lawyers and colleagues Nelson Mandela and Arthur Chaskos. I feel privileged that I was allowed to be a fellow walker of his in the achievement of what he wanted this country to become. There may have been others, but uh, I think that I owe him much f for what I think I am. And if you could be there at this moment and put your arms around him, what would you say in his ear? In his present condition? Yes. Go well, my friend. Let's both hope that the fight that you could put up will continue to influence the people of South Africa.